I will be going through Disabled by Wilfred Owen. So before I go through my annotations that I made, the whole structure shifts from present to past to present to past tense. It goes throughout the poem, and this suggests that he's having flashbacks to his past life because he describes his past life as being lively compared to the state he's currently in, which is disabled and quite lifeless. And the title, Disabled, contrasts the image that we have uh, as a reader of a soldier. So a soldier is what we think as someone who's strong and who's healthy and who's well, but we can see here, obviously, the title is disabled, so it shows that he has been either physically or mentally impaired. And the anonymous identity, so the word he kind of shows anonymous identity, it shows that it can happen to anyone on the battlefield, not specifically him, so he is kind of rooting for all the soldiers in the battlefield, talking about events and experiences that they have since he was against the war against having war and shivered and dark waiting for a dark kind of suggests weakness and lifelessness and it, it contrasts with the past uh, because if you're shivering you're usually in a state of cold and a little bit weaker than if you were in a, in a normal state so it again it shows that he is in a weakened state either physically or mentally and the alliteration of ghastly and gray kind of has connotations of monochromatic lifeless, death, loneliness, and we'll explore that further in the poem. And that's kind of contrasted again with stanza two, where it talks about his life being lively. And siblings is used with uh, soon short at elbow. So they're both short words, which suggests that his limbs were also cut short. And it links back to the title disabled because of legless and soon short at the elbow. So it shows that he's missing both his legs and his arms. And the uh, anaphora voices, the anaphora and repetition of voices shows that only he can hear these voices. And we can see in line four that these voices are quite saddening and they're quite monotonous and dull and lifeless, but it kind of contrasts with line five, where the voices are happy, playful, and lively. And again, we can see saddening has connotation of show loneliness, which links to line two. And metaphor is used with mother because it should be comforting, as well as sleep. Both should be comforting. But we could see that in the state that he's at right now, it's not really that comforting. And so stanza two shifts from past to present. So with up to line 10, it's talking about the past, how lively his past was. And then from line 11, it goes back to the present, shows realities of the present right now. And Gay was a term back then to describe happiness or someone who is happy and happiness, and that contrasts his current state. That combined with a light blue tree. So light blue trees you normally wouldn't see unless you unless you're in some weird world, but it got it shows that his past used to be really lively and colorful, and that links to the next stanza that we'll look at. And as the air grew dim, that has that again links back to uh, the monochromat, mono, monochromatic environment that he was in the first stanza. And before he threw away his knees, so if you throw away something, that usually means you don't really care about it. And threw away his knees shows that he was careless to enlist. And since he quite literally lost his knees, as we saw, or his legs, as we saw in the first stanza, that shows that he was quite careless when he was enlisting. And we'll discover that later in the poem. And we're back to a temporal tone, where it's back to the present, to the, back to the realities. And it shows that he, and now he will never feel again, shows that he will never be able to feel 
and experience any warmth again and again leads to uh, loneliness and or how warm their shell hands again contrasts to the main overall poem where it's lifeless or the poem's lifeless but we can see here warmth is kind of contrasted to for example shivering which we saw in the first stanza and touch him like some queer disease so diseases are usually linked to you wouldn't you wouldn't want to get close to them and we can see here that people are rejecting him because he is some type of queer disease and glow lamps is again has connotations of hope so again links to his lively past compared to his monochromatic uh present and we can see here artist and color contrast the monochromatic atmosphere we saw earlier and for it was younger than his youth so he signed up for the war because all boys would usually sign up for like for example patriotism and he lied about his age in order to join the war which we'll see in line 26 where it's to please someone and we can see poured it down shell holes till the veins ra veins ran dry so it shows that he kind of devoted all of his life to the war and poured has connotations of emptying something and we can see that he is emptying his life into the war uh, figuratively and literally because he lost his, some of his limbs. And hot race, they're both pretty short wars, which emphasizes uh, the word race. So it shows that his life went by super fast. And the short sentence of he thought he better join that again shows that his choice of enlisting was sort of on impulse. Again, we can see in line 26 to please someone. And we can see here, it is a shorter clause which has high emotions directed towards trying to please someone. And he mainly joined because, uh, because of women, but left suffering we can see at the beginning when he was describing how his limbs were um uh, soon short and colloquial language is used with a i in line 27 so that can give us a glimpse into what he what his current state is and so smiling, they wrote his lie again, shows that he was at a very young age and he thought he was going to be patriotic to his country, he thought he would help with victories. But as we see smiling, they wrote his lie kind of shows that they knew that he wasn't going to uh, survive and the adverb uh, scarcely here shows that he doesn't realize his actions throughout the war. And Jean with and no fears of fear came yet shows that this fear will be continuous. But he's not that fearful of death because the capitalization of fear in line 32 uh, shows that. And we can see italics are used on line 39 to show that it was a genuine thanks compared to, as we can see in line 37, where not as crowds cheered goal. And so this whole stanza is a shorter stanza length, which shows that short-lived opportunity. Not many people cared much about him after he returned. And some cheered him home, but not as crowds cheered goal. Kind of compares football to war and shows that people don't really appreciate his actions in the war, whether they were good or bad. And they'd rather cheer on goals in football, which are less strenuous than, phys than physical harm during war.
and now he will spend a few sick years in institutes to spend a few shows that he's uncertain of future events and that he doesn't know if he's going to stay there for a while or not because a few is usually three to four and a few sick years shows that now he's quite weak and he is quite helpless again because he lost a lot of his limbs and the repetition of and shows his monotonous life and now he's kind of government dependent and again shows that his life is just based off of rules and again we can see pass from him to the strong men that were whole so it shows that the war is wasteful although he joined although young men joined for acts of patriotism at the end they weren't really noticed that much and we can see tonight how he noticed the women's eyes pass from him shows that no one cared about him they cared about ones or about men who were stronger who looked more fit and the word whole at the end of that sentence kind of contrasts the title because disabled usually means you're physically or mentally impaired but if you're whole if something is whole it usually means that it ha it contains everything and it has everything that's required for it to function and how cold and late it is has connotations of, connotations of loneliness because it's usually associated or as of now it's usually associated with loneliness um and links back to the uh, start when he was shivering and the repetition of why don't they come mirrors himself and reflects on the way he is in his current position and also indicates increasing despair so it shows that it shows that whilst he is disabled he really just wants his life to be put away and put him to bed shows that he's in a state of oblivion or he wants to be in a state of oblivion and kind of bed has the word bed would link to maybe his grave and that is it for disabled by wilfred owen